we open up the um, KSI boxing match gaslighting document? The boxing match. I had all these. I had all these ideas. Like I was going to go in there and do joke moves. Yes. Which, first of all, I watched. I think there's like some synchronicity going on because a few days bef a few days before I went, I saw on YouTube a guy doing joke moves in like a kickboxing match, and he just looked like a fucking tool. Oh. Like he looked totally like an idiot. It was it's not like, a good look. It was like this Korean guy, and he was doing like. Stuff to show that he was physically, athletically superior, and that that really wasn't really a fight for him. So he was like, not not like you know Vin, how Vinny Paz used to go like this. Yeah, he wasn't quite doing that. He was doing more comedy shit, like more clownish shit, like uh -huh. dancing around like this and doing stuff like that. And I just I knew that like if I did anything other than be dead serious, I was gonna look like a jackass. That's fair because that, that would, that's something that you think is good, and then you do an act out, and you realize you're being a fucking idiot. Mm -hmm. But this document here, this is before that, so this, these were my ideas. So, have a microphone while fighting so I can do a motivational speech during the fight. <laughs> like, in the, like a, like in a, the like fight, a, like, all right, this is, you're going to grab life by the horns, and when it gets you, boom! You got to get him back. Like, doing a motivational Hide Wars speech during the fight. Okay. I thought you were going to have, a, like, a, I thought you were thinking, like, well, this. Just recording with a lav mic. Yeah. Like having a, a, lav mic, a lav mic in my hair. Uh, ter terrible sportsmanship, shoulder checking him, and dirty, which I did do. I held his head and stuffed him into an uppercut. <laughs> and uh, I actually think that in, I think in boxing, I like I like seeing that. That's what I like. Really? Yeah, I like dirty shit. I think it's fucking cool. And um, like uh, Thompson, who's a nice guy, and I don't. But I, I, I would have wanted to do this to anybody, though, like even if it was just for fun. But he, he went like this to show that he was getting hit in the back of the head, which, first of all, I was getting hit. He was hitting me in the back of the head, too, which it's all, it's all good to me. Um, but he did that to show the ref, and I just punched him in the face mm. like as he was doing that. Well, you had to shut, you know, you had to tell him the... Which you're supposed to, the, the ref is supposed to do his job. You're not supposed to tell the ref what to do. You're supposed yeah. to wait for the ref. To, anyway, um, <clears throat> the, one, the things I didn't get to do was step on his foot. Which I like doing in um, sparring. Really? Yeah, it's fucking really fun. Yeah. And it's not nice. It's so annoying. You st but you step on their foot so they can't move. Yeah. Um, <laughs> do Kim Kardashian shot glass lip trick before fight so my lips are swollen like wax lips. That's so. <laughs> that's so unbelievable. Like, I, oh, I like I love that. It's the funniest thing to me, but I think it would have played badly. Like I would have got my lip busted or something. You would have like come down from the high. If my if my lips were swelled up and I got hit in the lips, it would have split both of them right down the middle. Like I would have had fucking pussy lips on my face for the rest of my life. <laughs> and the like the high you would have like like doing interviews like all beat and being like, Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Just sitting there like the joke's <laughs> over, like the shit's over and you still have the fucking Kardashian lips. Yeah. You would have fucking hated oh life. Oh my god, man. You would have been wearing a mask. Mm hmm. Or like yeah, a, I a bandit. Yeah, mask. Um a t have a t-shirt that says the queen at point. Oh, that's that's so fucking good. I love the I love the the queen. Any of the queen shit would have been. Mm -hmm. I, it's just it's just a fight. Um, find Irish people, get them to admit they hate the British, get them on board with a new political movement that aims to humiliate the greedy corn mill owners and sausage factory tycoons who greed ensures the Irish have no candy. Um, saying say hello to my little friend before throwing a hard punch. <laughs> Is there any truth to the the corn uh, fact, sausage mill owners and shit? I mean, I think the Irish have been probably fucked with by the British at some point in their history. I'm not familiar with. But it their... wasn't like a specific industry. It like wasn't. Sausage no, it was not a corn mill or sausage factory. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, always saying "ouch" and "ow" when getting hit. Yeah, that's funny. <clears throat> I. Uh... Look out into the audience like there's something really important and mystifying out there to get him to look at what I'm looking at. Like yeah. fighting like this man. <laughs> <laughs> Running over like that. You know that like fake drama that wrestlers do? Where mm -hmm. they're like, let's get out of here. <gasps> yeah, yeah. And they have that like that movement, mm -hmm. like that like video game movement where mm -hmm. they're like, what? Come on, dude. What the hell? Whoa. <laughs> and they're over emoting. Yeah, yeah. That? Yeah. But like, like look over there. <laughs> Something's going on in the audience. Dude saying, look over there. Something's <laughs> going on in the audience. It's, someone's not safe. <laughs> Ring walk out with a swarm of street dogs. Wear a trench coat and Bane gear. Have your walkout song be 100 women crying at once. Yeah. God damn. <clears throat> what was your walkout song? 
uh, Strawberry Letter 23. Which is? Oh, that's a good song. Mm -hmm. How'd you come up with that? I thought it'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah. The other option was the Quake theme song, which it will that will be for Hassan. And if I fight, if I ever fight Hassan, I'm gonna do cardio, and it'll be a totally different performance, and I'll have the Quake theme song playing. And you're gonna do all these jokes. And I'll do all these jokes. Um, do not jerk off, which I did do that, which was a, probably a mistake. Um, have really sharp shurikens and knives and swords as part of the walkout costume, <laughs> like sharpened. Yeah, with yeah, Japanese weapons. Fill gloves with cake. Smushes out with every punch. Get banned for weighted cake gloves. Um, tell everybody there's going to be a big surprise or a big treat at the end of the match. Keep leading up to it, but there's nothing. What? Oh, there's a big treat. Yeah. When I win this match, there's going to be a big surprise for everybody. I have a big treat coming. You're going to like it. But oh. then just walk off, <laughs> just disappear. Yeah. Um, I don't know why. I ended up not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like you give like one, that's all you say about it, and you build it up for three days. Continue with semen retention after the fight, so I'm just horny and angry all the time for no reason. Tell people it's a good idea. Mm. Try, oh, this was a really, I would have loved this one. Try to hide behind the referee like a kid running behind his parents. It's so funny. And like not, and doing it in, in a subtle way so it's it's not, I it couldn't get called for it, but just kind of like perpetually like moving. A little bit don't more, perpetually moving a little bit more to the right or the left to be behind the referee. Oh, uh, once behind the referee, throwing punches over him, <laughs> like the referee's right here, and I'm like, oh, like throwing like that, using him. <laughs> Apply Sauvage cologne in the corner, show the camera, <laughs> spray Sauvage on KSI. <laughs> um, getting getting KSI to do an unwitting Sauvage promo. Like, like, basically, like, hey, KSI, can you stand with me in this picture and hold this, hold this Sauvage bottle? Sauvage <laughs> every day, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw candy at Thompson from my corner. Stomp on the gloves and throw grin. candy at Thompson from my corner. That's really funny. Yeah, I like the corner tricks where, like, you're like this. Sit down, Sammy. Mm -hmm. Boom, cigarette in your mouth, like you've done it sixty times. You're like this, <laughs> like this. Yeah, like yeah. it would be so funny. Like I know. <laughs> Stomp on the gloves and grind them into cinder block walls backstage so the filling is moved to the sides, which I did do. Try to slip money to the referee and fight officials in the locker rooms pre-fight and tell them that it's not for anything. Say time out a bunch of times during the fight. <laughs> I like the paying the money. Paying uh, the money's so funny. Yeah. Like during the fight. Just tipping them. Tipping them yeah. during the fight. It's just a tip though. You slide it, you give it to them like this. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. Um, I gave you money. You tell, you're saying it out loud while you're fighting. Eat raw meat. Stay at a Persian hotel instead of hotel paid for by the event. <laughs> Do a Conor McGregor proper 12 whiskey promo. Oh. Um, sip Conor McGregor's proper 12 whiskey in rounds instead of in between rounds instead of water. Make a backstage burger for TikTok. Start a bed bug scare at the hotel. <laughs> Start a bed bug. Was everybody in the same like? Uh, yeah, everyone's yeah. in the same hotel. Just bring bring bed bugs doing whippets <laughs> in in the corner doing whippets and poppers. That's what I'm <laughs> Walk out music is mosquito sound. The sounds of mosquitoes. <laughs> you walk out. Oh, uh, walk out music is a voiceover of your inner monologue. This sure beats all that shit porn I was watching. I'm not even that nervous. Can't wait to get back home and smooth it out though. But or like you're walking out, but it's like the sound of your voice. Yes. So you hear like, geez, big fighting event, lots of people. I wonder if I'll win. I bet I will. Hey, that ring looks cool. Oh, the lights are bright in here. <laughs> like this. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. I have, <clears throat> I have to take a huge shit again. <laughs> I'll literally shit in the ring though. Walking out with a hamster and throwing it as hard as you can, either at the ground <laughs> or into the crowd. Um, like let the camera see that it's a track and that it's a hamster and then you like whip it into the crowd. Yeah, that's fucking awesome um, You throw it like a fucking baseball like across the stadium. Like, I know like over the ring. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah <laughs> <laughs> Like being happy about it. Yeah, yeah like 75 feet you throw it Troy Aikman <laughs> 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 Um, acting like you're confused from a hit and then hitting the ref. Oh. You've seen that happen in, in some yes. fights, yeah. but just like getting hit and be like, where am I? And then punching the ref. 
<laughs> Knocking the wind out of the rough as hard as you can. <laughs> hitting hitting a baseball into the crowd, then wave American flag. <laughs> Blood packets so it looks like you're dying. Um, <laughs> shill the NFT project while completely out of breath. I don't think there's a bad idea in this whole thing. Cover covering yourself in something stinky. People people do do that. Oh yeah. Um, but like ha like having like actual shit like matted in my hair. Ugh. Like how much how much feces can you s smush into your hair and mat it down before you get caught? That's my question. That's oh my god. Probably like a half a cup. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. They're dreadlocks, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you can you imagine that? Having Damn, a half a, a fucking insane. Having idea. a half a cup of wet shit smashed into your hair. No. Like so literally do that. <laughs> like that makes me want to fucking kill myself. Like, you, like do it to your beard so it looks like you have like fake like the spray on beard. Come on, come and get me, motherfucker! <laughs> oh my god! Come and get me, motherfucker! <laughs> like, dude, this guy's got. <laughs> you have like flies on you. Mm-hmm. Like 60 flies. Mm -hmm. That is a crazy thing to think about. How much shit you can smash into your hair before someone notices from a, from 10 foot, 10 foot distance. You'd lose like 100 pounds from <laughs> fucking tapeworms and, and infections. You'd be like Medusa. You'd have snakes, tape snakes in your hair. <laughs> um, <laughs> do, doing that and then <laughs> grappling and clinching excessively while screaming, smell my shit. Oh. <laughs> Like, That's so fucked. Like diving yeah, in, yeah. bear hugging, and screaming, smell my shit. Doesn't bother me. <laughs> it's my own shit. <laughs> like, but he, like screaming that and dry heaving at the same time. That'd <laughs> 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 um, be, like be like fighting with a chain on again. You'd die. I, re I really wanted to, to claim that I'm the third Paul brother. That Jake and Logan are my brothers, and saying that, um, yeah, I'm kind of the outcast of the family. Our dad molested us a lot, and Jake and Logan, they don't want to talk about it, so we don't really hang out ever, but yeah, both those guys got molested by our dad, like, tons. Tons. Like, saying that at a press conference? It's really funny. Oh my god. Show up at KSI's hotel room unannounced, excited to hang out and train together with shit matted in my hair still. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I just like the, like that fucking. I was I saw a party pot. I was in, I was in a porta potty like six hours ago, mm -hmm. and I saw shit today like four times. Mm -hmm. I was drinking a lot of water, so I pissed like six times, mm -hmm. like a hot amount of time, and I just kept on seeing shit of different. And now I just like I am just like I got it crystal clear. The yeah. smell is fresh. Mm -hmm. Be fun to box. Be a fun boxing partner, guy. <laughs> While other people are in gym training and sparring, train break dancing. <laughs> Mistaking KSI for Usain Bolt, ask KSI for Vicodin, ask KSI to be friends after the fight, ask Logan Paul to please be on the podcast. <laughs> fight, fight as Sam Paul, try to show interviewers DNA evidence. Um, <laughs> shorts are sublimation printed pic of real porn. Uh, yeah, that that's... Damn, Put, putting cool. putting a packer in your shorts and letting it fall out like mid <laughs> oh my god <laughs> like a black one running away embarrassed mm -hmm. that's so fucking funny <laughs> bring someone your size and tag them in it's <laughs> so funny uh, spray enough axe to potentially get kicked out act like you're getting hit by bugs throw a kick by accident <laughs> First shots free. <laughs> 360 spinning front fist. Eat hot dog and pizza between rounds like it's a baseball game. <laughs> Fight in new new balance dad shoes. <laughs> Wear Tim's. Wear Nike shocks. <laughs> Wear body glove toe shoes. <laughs> Piss yourself, shit yourself. Sneeze and cough a ton during That's the fight. So shorts that <laughs> shorts that dissolve in water as fight goes on. The shorts disintegrate with sweat and reveal an XL diaper. That's unfucking believable. <laughs> I die. I die. Oh, that's so fucking funny, man. Could you have like wet through the meat? Oh, you got. I, I soak through shit immediately. You your corner guy could have dumped the water on you. I, I would soak through it in thirty seconds. Oh, that's so fucking funny. <clears throat> 
Fake being captured and ransomed by Taliban extremists 24 hours before the fight. I beat their ass and got here in the nick of time. That's awesome. Getting walked into the ring in puppy fetish mask. Pull a knife out of the knife bin and go to jail to avoid having to fight. Yeah, so that's... That's a nice short list of ideas that you could have... That Glad I didn't. A hundred, how many, uh, 150 bits running at the same time? Yeah. God damn, man. All great ideas. Yeah, good shit. I mean, that would have been everything that way. Hey, couldn't have gone better, but god damn, that was a lot of fucking... Uh, I know. It's, it's just, it just goes to show. I'll do that for Creator Clash 2 when the uh, opponents are uh, less less threatening. Yeah. Because yeah. everybody does, does Creator Clash is fucking... Yeah, when you're fighting Keenan Thompson. Helpless. Yeah. Yeah.